So the abutments have a similar method of being added in. You just come here to place abutment, select the support line, and you'll want to come here to a template. Um, and there's once again two types. There's these walls, and then there's just a traditional pile cap. And they come in different default lengths depending on what you're putting in. I'm just going to do this two lane to start with. Um, I came through and built one in here earlier, but I'll show you how I did that. So just come here to two lane, select, just double check to make sure these are all correct. Offset up to zero, apply skew to solids, form back wall with deck top. I wanted to do that, yes. Um, and that depends on the bridge plans, but if you look in the bridge plans I've got, right there, it comes up right up to the top of the deck. So I want to make the abutment conform with the back, or have the back wall conform with the top of the deck. So yes, I want that. I want to be able to edit elevation constraints. Um, very rarely will you ever have this thing unchecked, at least in my experience. Orientation, start, that just tells you which, that just tells the program which direction to face the abutment. And this is on the left end, so we want it at start. Cap length adjustment by deck, that's what I want. Material, pile material, I already have the defaults I want in there, so I'll just leave it that. If you need to change, you can click on these dots. All looks good. I already clicked on this earlier, so just data point to confirm that I want to be able to edit constraints come in here. This should look very familiar. I'm going to just do the same settings, just level. And this has no footings based on the just the template I selected. So I'll just click OK. And draws that in. Now, if you look at it, oh, I'll just push escape to stop drawing. First comes in. It looks good, but it goes beyond this edge of the deck. And the default for the abutment is right here at the line where the back wall meets the place where the beams rest. I'm totally spacing on the name of that part right now. Um, but that's not where I want it, but that's just fine because there is a way to change that under the properties. So I'll just come in here to properties. Let's see. And I'll just want to come up here to substructure template. All right, and just right here, support line alignment. So there's three options. There's the front face of the back wall. That's the default. Um, the abutment center line or back of the abutment. I drew mine for the back of the abutment, so I'm just changing to that, and that will fix that. Um, the cap length. I'll just need to come over to bridge plans for that. All right, so there we are. So we got this 13.41. Let's stretch that out a bit. Pile cap depth. Um, that's this depth part right there. And just have to come over to bridge plans again for that. All right. So I adjust the bridge plans again. And for this, um, it's given in terms of differences in elevation. So I took elevation G and elevation A, but, and just subtracted those, and that got me 1.5, which would be 15, which is the default that's already in there, which is great. And the cap width is 1,000, which is already what's in there which is also great. And the back wall, uh, back wall depth, it's input automatically because I have it set so it's level with this top, so that's just fine. And last thing you do is adjust the back wall width. And you gotta do a little bit more math for that. Or since I already know the girder placement's already right where I want it, I just remember the offset of this right here was, 338 I believe. Uh, I'll just add it in like that and then I can adjust it if I need to. Um, I believe based on what I've seen the bridge plans 
Um, I think that the end there, there's a little bit of gap. Um, let me just pull that up real quick. Okay, it looks like I've been seeing the bridge plan is about 300s in different locations, so I'm just going to use 300 there. I'll just leave a little bit of a gap in between, which makes sense because, I mean, tight fits are tight. Um, I can come back in and adjust that later if I need to. And just check these. Ah, and now I need to change the pile. The default in here is rectangular, but I want H piles, template. It's going to be the same again. Should be 14 by 117. Pile length. I need to come over to bridge plans again for. And that was 9.99. With the embedded links, gotta come over to bridge plans again. Okay. So the bottom button up here. So it looks like it's 610 is the embedment. And now I just need to also check the orientation for these. And for the abutments, it's the flat face is facing the flat. So I will need to rotate these 90 degrees. And the last thing you want to do is adjust the pattern layout. I guess we could have adjusted the pattern layout first and then adjust these things. Um, just the way I did it though. It's this way. I, there's eight of them. Let's double check super quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. And then margins. Um, you got the 500 margin set right there for top and bottom. Now for left and right, change bridge plans pages again. Okay, and that's a 633. Alright, generate files. Looks good. Okay, now I'll update that little picture right there, and I've done all those, so at this point, um, since I would want to apply this to the left side, I'd click Add to Library, name it, and click OK. Um, I added this to the library earlier, so since I don't want to make, make duplicates in my own library, I'm just going to push Cancel, but if you're following along, you'd push OK, then OK. That enters that in right there, and that just, if you can zoom in, there's that little bit of gap there. Um, just because I said this 300 and the exact distance a little bit more. And then to apply the abutment to the other side, it's a lot easier after you have the template in there because you just uh, come here to place abutment, select it, and then in here, you just, if you save, when you saved in here, you just come in, select that, select, data point, it's already, okay. And it just drops it right in there. Plop. Already all in there. Already all set to where I want it.